boys and girls, welcome to Sunday School. Today we are going to see what it means that we are God's servants. And it's actually pretty cool because Jesus himself showed us what it means. So let's take a look at this fun video. It's called Dirty Feet and it tells the story of John 13 verses 1 through 17. Now, it might seem weird in our culture, but back in Jesus' time, foot washing was a common tradition. People walked on dirt roads to get places, and since they wore sandals, their feet got really dirty as they traveled. It was traditional for them to get their feet washed when they entered a house. So what are some, what are some things that your family does when you want to welcome a visitor into your house? Well, at our house, we do a quick tidy up to make sure everything's neat. We might prepare some special food. We might even pull out some of our favorite games to have available. But here's the thing, back in Bible times, washing a, feet, a visitor's feet was the tradition. But it wasn't something that someone important like Jesus would normally do. That was a servant's job. So it was a real shock for the disciples to have someone who was in charge of them serve them. But Jesus washed his disciples' feet to show them what it looks like when we are God's servants. And if Jesus did this to set up an example, what can you learn from it? And what else can we learn about God by serving someone else or by being served? Go ahead and pause the video and talk with your family just a little bit about this and then come right back. Jesus is God. He did the job of a servant. Just coming from heaven to earth was the way Jesus served us. But he humbled himself even further when he did a servant's job, washing feet. So what are some things that you can do to serve others? We are God's servants. Sometimes that can mean spending a whole day volunteering to serve others. But it can also be in little things like holding the door open for someone, or giving a big thank you to a store worker, or letting someone else go first. So this week, look for ways that you can serve. So now, let's check in with Mrs. Jackson and see what she has for us today. Hi everyone, Miss Jackson here. Today we're going to spend our time with Jesus Loves Me. We've sung it the last two weeks and today we're going to finish up with that and learn some, one more thing to go with it. So I have left the words on the board. We're going to sing the verse which starts here with Jesus and goes through He is Strong. Let's review that first, okay? Here we go, here's your starting pitch. Are you sitting up straight and tall or standing like a singer? Are you ready? One, two, breathe. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Okay, did you get that? Did that come back to you? Let's take a look at this. This is called the refrain. There are several verses where the words change, but the refrain stays the same all the time. So we're going to learn some signs to go with our words today on the, on the refrain. And the good thing about this is that the words repeat, and so the signs will repeat, so we don't have that many to learn. So let's start right here. The first one is yes. You take your hand. It's like you're knocking on a door. It's like your head nodding yes. Isn't that interesting? So that's easy to remember. So we have yes, Jesus. The sign for Jesus is two motions. The middle finger of your hand into the palm and the middle finger of your hand into the palm. Can you think why that would be the sign for Jesus? We're coming up on Good Friday and we remember that when Jesus was crucified, 
They drove nails through the palms of his hands, which is really a horrible thing to think about, but that's the sign for Jesus. Okay, so we have yes, Jesus. Now, do you remember loves from another song we did? Remember? Loves, sort of like giving yourself a hug. So yes, Jesus loves, and me's pretty easy, don't you think? You just point to yourself. So we have that again. Yes, Jesus loves me. The third time, yes, Jesus loves me. Then we have the Bible tells me so. The interesting thing about Bible is that when we're talking about the New Testament part of the Bible, the part that talks about Jesus and his life and what that means, um, the sign is Jesus and like book. Okay, so the Bible tells, just point to your mouth, and then me. And, and there's no word to add for so. So, the Bible tells me so. Ooh, how about that? So let's sing it. We'll remind ourselves of the singing. Remind ourselves of the singing and we'll do it slowly with the, with the sign language. And then we'll put the whole song together. Here we go. Are you ready? Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Okay, you got it? Very good. So now, everyone, we're going to sing Jesus Loves Me, the whole song, uh, and we'll have the signs for the refrain. Okay, we'll sing it one time through. Here's your starting pitch, are you ready? One, two, three. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. So there you go, girls and boys, a song that people have been singing for lots and lots of years, and it's one that you can keep in your heart and sing all the time. And now you know some signs um, with, so you can sing it. Share that with your family members um, and, and maybe teach them the signs as well. So I hope that you will sing it, keep that song in your heart, and have a really special week. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hi boys and girls for our craft today. We are going to do a paper plate um, foot washing craft so it looks like they're washing um, their feet. Okay, so uh, you should have gotten in my packet, you would have gotten a paper plate with a little fastener that I taped to it. You have your hand and foot um, pattern that we need. There is also um, in your packet a fun coloring sheet with foot shapes um, about Jesus washing his disciples' feet. And then for older children, I also included a fun word find for you. But let's take a look at our paper plate craft. So what the first thing that you're going to want to do is take your hand and your foot shape and color them in and then cut them out. And this little rectangle up here, this is supposed to be a bar of soap. Okay, so what you're going to do with that um, I went ahead and I cut mine out. I colored them. This one I even tried, I don't know if you can see, but I tried to make it look like it was dirty. I was having fun with that, so you can do whatever you want. But cut them out, and then on your soap, you're gonna write a part of the Bible verse, and that is, you also should wash each other's feet on your little bar of soap. So when you have that, then you're gonna wanna take your paper plate, and you can just very carefully 
take that um, little paper fastener off. And then what we're gonna do, whoop, tape is sticking to me. You need to save that. You're gonna wanna color your paper plate blue for the water. So however you wanna do it, if you have some watercolor paint or regular paint at home, you can do that. Or you can just use crayons or markers or whatever. I'm just gonna kinda get mine really quickly. Put some blue on here. I'm kinda playing with it. I'm using two colors. And you just wanna get your paper plate, the whole thing blue for the water. Okay, so there we go. Got some blue. And you can take more time. I'm just trying to get it on here quickly. Okay, now what you'll want to do is you're gonna to wanna to take your pan shape and if you'll notice, there's a little uh, circle there. We're gonna, that's where we're gonna put our punch. And so what we wanna do is we wanna put a little, kinda wanna see um, where we're gonna put it on here and then kind of punch a hole in your paper plate. Again, if you have a hole punch, that is very helpful. But if you don't have a hole punch, you can use a pair of scissors. I would have mom or dad help you with this though. Be really careful because you don't want to poke yourself, but you can just use something pointy and very carefully, very carefully poke a hole. Okay, so again, get mom or dad to help you with that if you don't have a hole punch. And so what you're gonna to want to do also is grab a tissue or a piece of paper towel. And so what I'm gonna do is I am going to take my hand and I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the fingers, just a little bit, and stick it on my tissue. So it's kind of like a little washcloth, okay? And then I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna line it up the little hole with that brad, that fastener, and you're gonna poke it through the the hand and the paper plate and then you're going to open it up on the back side so that it holds it on there. So now I've got my hand, my uh, washcloth, okay, and then I'm just going to slide my little hand out of the way because I want to put my foot on there so that it can be washing. And you can kind of play with it and see, you want to make sure it's on there right where you want it. And then I'm just going to flip that over and put some glue on my foot. Have you ever washed someone's feet? It's kind of cool. Sometimes we've done that in church. It's a really neat experience to serve someone else in that way. All right, so there I have the foot. And then when I slide that back on there, it's like I'm washing the foot. And then you can take your little soap and you can put this on there too. To help you remember that I'm running out of glue here, I think. To help you remember this Bible story. Let's see, I'll put it right there. And so there is our fun washing feet paper plate craft. So. so boys and girls, I hope you have a fun time with this craft. Thank you for joining us. I have one more activity. If you, uh, I have a game for you to try. If you have a balloon, you can blow up a balloon or use a small ball that you have at home and try keeping it up with just your feet. Try that out at home. Hope you have a wonderful week. Mm, God bless and see you next time.